Okay, we're learning how to upload a file from our computer to, let's say, the server, but using Flash. And I've got the first piece of code written, and it's working. So just to show you, the first piece of code that I have, what we're going to do is, I'll hit refresh here. I've got it working so that we can hit the Browse button, and then we can look for a file. Here's some files, right? And hit Open and then the file name goes into the dynamic text box. That's it. That's all I've got so far. But I was able to click this button in Flash and browse for a fold through a folder on my desktop. So that's pretty cool. So I'll show you how I did that. So this first bit of code looks like this. First thing we're going to do is in this lesson of um, learning how to upload files from the computer, we're going to be dealing with the file reference class. So the first line says import flash.net dot file reference okay and that's capital F capital R right there alright so that's the first this if you want to know basically the guts on, on how to do this you have to learn about the file reference class and you can right click on this and go view help and it'll open up flash help window and you can learn a lot about it okay the next thing that we're gonna need for this project is we're gonna need to learn how to save the data to our computer so that the next time the user goes to the um, his avatar is saved and next time he opens up this flash movie or wants to chat the avatar uh, the image is saved and the location and how it's masked and the sized and so we want to save that information to do that we're going to use the um, shared object and the the shared object get local method and um, but right now we don't need to do that so I'm just going to comment that out for right now but that's the second piece to this how to do this is once we've uploaded the file can we save that information so that we can reference it the next time we come back to this website I'll open this file again okay so I've imported the flash.net.filereference class and now var file ref I just made that up it's a uh, lowercase f capital R that's my own um, it's my own name that I came up with file ref to stand for file reference colon file reference so it's going to be a file reference object the variable file ref is actually going to be a file reference object then I say new file reference so it's going to take it's going to be a new file reference object right so that's that line then the next thing you need to do is create a listener um, and um, to do that, first thing we say is var variable o listener, so object listener, right? It's going to be an object, uh, colon object equals a new object. So I create an object called o listener, right? And then I take my file reference object and I add a listener to it and I add basically o listener, right? To my file reference object that I created. All right. So file reference add listen dot add listener o listener. So now I can play with o listener and work with that. All right? So this I have this new object called o listener that is now been added to file ref. So o listener on the next line o listener dot on select. So when I select the file equals a function and uh, file ref, file reference here, file ref, colon, it's going to be a file reference object right here, right? So this file ref, colon, file reference, that's what's going to be um, passed to it. So we have this file reference, right, we've added the listener, o listener, when it's the on select um, handler is called, and when we've selected a file, right, calls this function going to pass it a file reference and then on the next line it says tdata which is tdata is our um, dynamic text box dot text equals the string file name right so in between quotation marks the string file name plus file ref dot name and so this file ref dot name dot name is a property right a uh, property of the um, file reference uh, class right of my file ref object so automatically file ref my file ref object as being a file reference object 
automatically inherits this ability to call dot name to get the name, right? Now, then go to my button, tbrowse.onpress equals a function. That's my button. And then I call a function called browse files. Well, browse files is just a function that I've called that I made up. So now I have to write that function. So function space browse files, open and close parentheses, colon void, right? This is strict data typing type of stuff right here. Uh, and then right here, file ref dot browse. So this is where you call the browse window. This is what opens up that browse window, which is also belongs to this file reference class or this file ref object that's part of the file reference class that inherits all of the properties and methods of that class. So I say file ref dot browse and that opens up the browse window. So all you need right now just to do this is these few lines and you'll be able to test it out, right? So there you have it. You can click here and it opens up the browse window, right? You can pick a file, right? And then select it and the file now, the name of the file goes into our text box. And once again, this is my button T browse and this is my dynamic text box called T data. All right, and hopefully you could try all that out at home, right? T browse, and then there's T data, and that's step one.